Hello Curious and welcome back! After Jennifer and Ben Affleck's comeback, it looks like it didn't take too long for Alex Rodriguez to put away his box of Kleenex and get out there. And we are saying this as he is not wasting time and maybe has planned revenge on Benifer as he has reportedly been getting cozy with Affleck's ex. What exactly has happened? Is he trying to make the Batman star jealous or is he simply trying to prove to J-Lo that he is already over her? Who is the ex in question? What new outrageous statements has Rodriguez made? And what is the reason for him renting a house three minutes away from Jennifer? Stay with us until the very end to find out the latest updates from the world of Benefer. But before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Sometimes when it comes to breakups and looking to get with someone else, sometimes it is better to get with someone who we already know. And it seems that JLo isn't the only one who has applied that kind of thinking to her life. Before we get talking about the alleged new conquest of Alex Rodriguez, who for oh so coincidentally has been seen in a company of none other than the ex of Ben Affleck, it seems that Alex has rushed to dry his tears and find someone to spend his time with as Jennifer is moving to Los Angeles, which many had assumed was all for Ben. But that is not all as she has also signed a contract with Netflix that also provided her with work in Tinseltown, a place that Ben Affleck does not want to move from. That was commented on during his breakup with Anna de Armas, his reason for not wanting to move from the city being the fact that it is where his kids, which he shares with Jennifer Garner, live. If you are a little late to the news, then let us tell you that for several weeks now, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have been making headlines as they were spotted hanging out with Em and Max, JLo's kids. In fact, Ben isn't even shying away from some PDA with the singer right in front of them. So now you might understand a little better why allegedly Rodriguez has made a decision to go after Affleck's ex. And well, the first rumours had it said that the Batman actor was the one who ran into the arms of Lopez to comfort her following the former couple's split. Though the latest gossip seems to suggest that they had ended their engagement as Jen was eager to return to the arms of the Justice League actor who was doing everything possible to fall in love again with her and was even reported that her kids like Ben a lot and they think that he is fun. So at this point it seems that Alex is not only forgotten by JLo but also by Em and Max. And if you want to know more about her move and plans for LA, be sure to check out our previous video titled Jennifer Lopez, Alex Rodriguez got revenge on her and Ben Affleck. But for now, make sure to stay with us until the end. And as the latest gossip seems to suggest, Rodriguez was not going to stay laying in bed, sending hints on Instagram or hoping to have an answer to his posts with coded messages directed at Jen. No, no, my curious. This man, who previously was accused of having an affair with Madison LaCroix, another one who has a new boyfriend. And if you want to know more details of that drama, then be sure to check out our video titled Jennifer Lopez, Last Chance for Alex Rodriguez. And if you can do so by clicking on the link above, but for now, stay with us to learn all about A-Rod's new lady friend. It had all started when he was spotted having some good time with Affleck's ex, Lindsay Shukas, who invited him to her birthday party not long ago, as it was reported by Page Six, who had obtained a video of him there. In the aforementioned footage, you can see the 45-year-old sitting very close to Lindsay, and it is worth mentioning that this was an intimate gathering in the back garden in the Hamptons. The crowd was also entertained by Josh Beckerman, who is better known as the Footy Magician, who performed his show for those present as guest of the NSL producer. This has made fans go crazy as thousands of speculations had started going around the net, and now more than ever given that Benefer has without a shadow of a doubt gone official. And it seems as if 17 years had not passed since their first breakup, as they look just as happy as they did back in those days. And what better than keep it all between friends and have Alex grab one of Ben's exes, right? But the sadness of the conspiracy theorists around the three of them, Alex had said that he had nothing to do with her romantically and denied such involvement with Lindsay. In fact, he revealed that they had been friends for 12 years. They had both insisted that they are friends and nothing more. Do be sure to stay with us until the very end to find out the real reason as to why A-Rod has rented a house only three minutes away from J-Lo. As it was expected, a representative of Rodriguez has come out to talk with Page Six and said that there is absolutely nothing here and that they have been friends for many years. 
The video that had made everyone go crazy with these speculations was in the stories of Lindsay with a birthday message since her birthday was celebrated on June 18th. In that video, eagle-eyed fans noticed A-Rod and that had led to them making all kinds of theories and speculations about it if the couple or if they're just hooking up. Plus, as we had mentioned before, she had also happened to be the ex of Ben Affleck and with all the media going crazy about Alex's split from J-Lo and the previous cheating allegations, some fans really weren't that surprised that Rodriguez wanted to get his life back together as soon as possible. It seems that even he wanted to apply the same thinking as Jen because right after Benifer became a thing again, he was full of praise for his ex-wife, with whom he shares his two daughters. And so, fans speculated that he too wanted to run into the arms of an ex. But for now, let's talk a little bit more about the relationship Shukas and Affleck shared. The two were dating on and off from 2017 to 19. Then, he started dating Anna de Armas, although nothing serious ever came out of that relationship. And for those who don't know, in December, in December 2019, Lindsay was even spotted having dinner with Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez when they were still a couple and they enjoyed some time with the cast of SNL before Jennifer's concert. And now the eyes of the media are on Rodriguez, especially since, even more, there were those who wanted to bet that after Ben's return to the on-the-floor singer, Alex would go looking for Madison LaCroix, since now he had nothing that would stop him. And some of us thought that if they did get together, it would be as good as he admitting that he did in fact cheat. And because of all this, the media and fans alike are following his every step to see who he will w go with to mend his broken heart. And according to reports, he recently rented a new mansion in the Hamptons, where he was also spotted spending an evening with a mysterious brunette woman. But according to the same publication, it seems that she was just his business partner. This is not the first kind of rumour that Arod has faced since his split with J-Lo. He was allegedly also romantically involved with Katie Holmes. Recently, speculation of an affair with her had hit the net after he was spotted leaving the same apartment building where the actress lives. But the reason Rodriguez was seen there was because he was looking for an apartment in the same place. His rep told E! News that they haven't met, with Holmes' rep adding that she doesn't even know him. So after clarifying that Alex is not dating anyone, at least officially, Page Six had reported that he recently rented an amazing mansion in Bridgehampton for the summer, just a three minute drive from his ex, Jennifer. So in case Lopez comes calling back, he'll be at her door in less than five minutes. And if some of you don't remember, Watermill, where she lives, is where they spend last summer with their kids before their split in April. And since we know that you curious love the drama, as if the above wasn't surprising enough, let's rub a bit of more salt into the wounds, Rodriguez was recently seen having dinner in Sag Harbor on a Friday evening with a worker of the A-Rod Corp, his own company. So what do you think? From what the relentless media has pointed out, he is not having a good time. But after all, life goes on and surely there will be someone who will be happy to consult Alex in his low hours. Though allegedly, he himself has said that he has no plans to date anyone. And so curious, regardless of Alex denying all the romances with the women he was linked to, how many times have we heard those words in Hollywood? So what do you think the next relationship could be? Do you think he moved closer to JLo in the hopes that they will rekindle their love one day? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.